Hi everybody, it's Hannah from Dream Digs and thanks for clicking on the video. Oh gosh, I'm having a bit of a chilled out time in my garden. I've got some crabbies. I'm just going to have a little talk out while I've got them, some things on my mind. Um, video is not sponsored by crabbies, but if they would like to uh, hook me up, that'd be sweet. You know, get on to it. Um, what, what happened today? I, I did the My Network for Women celebration showcase, which is cool. Um, the My Network for Women, obviously it, it does what it says in the tin, it's a network for women. All ages, like no matter where you are in your professional um, journey, whether you're just starting out or whether you've been established for a while. And um, yeah, it was their anniversary today, so there was a showcase of what the members, myself being one, did and also some talks for personal development, so things about social media and mentoring and um, about the about how the group itself is going to progress and plans for the future, which was super cool. But my, my takeaway from the day was um, that you you kind of need to be part of something that's, that's, that's bigger than yourself. Like, it's very easy as an entrepreneur to be sort of very focused and like just like quite blinkered really and because I'm, I'm a person who quite likes my own company which obviously is quite handy when I'm self-employed um, it can be easy to not ever kind of talk your problems through or get somebody else's perspective which you know like whether it's whether you do it in the, in the form of networking or whether you have a mentor um, I think that's really really important like for example um, I was kind of I was talking with one of my friends, um, it's Brittany Hammond, she's the owner of uh, Untamed um, Lifestyle and Business and she, she, well what she does is she helps kind of define people's brand stories and she's really really good at what she does so go out and check her website, I'll have it linked below. Um, yeah and I was talking about things with her and, um, and what was happening with her business and there was this person that was like, she, he, he triggered her in a particular way and she asked me the question, who triggers you? And I kind of hadn't really thought about it before, like, I, I sort of thought, oh, that person annoys me or whatever. And, yeah, I hadn't, I hadn't given it much thought. And she said, which was a very good point, some people are placed in your life for a reason. Um, whether that's like a good reason or a bad reason. I kind of had put people into, into groups. You know, there's positive people who, like, they, sorry, should I say, people who make a positive in, impact on my life. And then everybody else and they like whether good or bad like they they're just kind of in the one group and I didn't ever think that they would be present in my life for a reason but she she made a very very good point and um and it made me think there's this one particular person and I couldn't work out what it was that annoyed me like anytime this person walks into a room they immediately command attention they like it's, it becomes all about them like everybody focuses on what this person is doing and it really annoyed me because everything became about them as soon as they walked in, which really, really got my back up. And uh, and I know that the most powerful person in the room isn't necessarily the one that speaks the loudest or the most, um, far from it. But it, it just, it really, yeah, this person really, really annoyed me. And then because of what Brittany said about people triggering you, I kind of thought, well, wh what is it that, that annoys me? about this person and I realized it's that it, it wasn't it wasn't them per se it was what I was lacking um, or what that I wanted in my life so I, I would quite enjoy it to be able to walk into a room and like immediately command attention and not necessarily in the way that um, the person I'm talking about does it like because because people do get kind of annoyed by it if I'm honest um, but yeah, just to I, I, I would enjoy being able to have that command, um, and that that would be awesome. So the reason that uh, this person annoyed me so much was something that I was missing in myself, rather than them. And <laughs> I know it sounds like a very small thing, but just that that little perception change um, it made me far more understanding, and it made me think, oh well, you know, if 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 I am thinking about that, what do I need to do to kind of get people's attention like you know not not in sort of a, an aggressive controlling um, look at me dramatic kind of way but you know in, in a sort of quiet sort of charismatic kind of way um, and I'm not hit on the answer to that yet I'll, I'll update you if I do but um, yeah 
Um, so instead of sort of focusing on the negativity that this person gave me, or rather that I perceived, um, I'm going to try and turn it into a, into a positive thing um, that will hopefully benefit my life. But um, yeah, without having talked to to Brittany, then I would I would not have had that perception change at all, and I'd probably I'd still be doing the same thing. And it's not a massive deal, admittedly, but um, just to have someone to kind of bounce ideas off, or you know, just an outside perspective than your own. Um, and she she lives in France, so she isn't sort of that close to to my business, so she can look at it from the outside and give her honest opinion. And um, yeah, I, I met with the, the lovely Gemma from Launchpad Men Mentoring and um, Urshad did a talk about how important mentors are and, um, and I completely agree with him. Like, it sounds very, uh, I don't know, it sounds a bit intimidating, you know, if, if somebody, if they say, oh, do you want to be a mentor? Um, I've not been going in business long enough, so I, I wouldn't be a, a good fit, to be quite honest. Um, but to to sort of have a mentor or be a mentee it sounds quite formal but the i really don't think it's like that um you know they were talking about it today and um i think it would be just beneficial for like i said just even if there's the one perception change and maybe you don't necessarily get on and you don't gel well together whatever but just to have that outside perspective when you're self-employed i think is incredibly important um and it's, it's kind of what the My Network for Women does as well. You can you can bounce ideas off each other and then like gauge people's reaction. And the showcase as well. It was it was lovely to see people's reaction to to the things that I'd made. Um, it was really it was really positive and made me feel really good about myself. And it was um, it was a great self esteem boost as well, if I'm honest. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I've got to say about that. So um, it was just kind of to to get things off my chest while I was thinking about it. Um, and I am very, very tired, so I think I'm going to go and drink the rest of my crabbies and um, be pretty cool and watch University Challenge, I think. And don't pretend you don't do it, because I know you do. Alright, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you liked it, you know the drill. Subscribe, like, click the notification bell to get more news from me. And um, have a look at my social media. There's, there's loads of pictures and behind the scenes and little snippets and um, like bloopers as well, which is always fun. And uh, hopefully I'll see you next time. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Bye bye.